Hello Pisces, what is going on? Welcome to your January 2023 Love and Romance reading. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that your year is off to a fantastic start. So this reading may resonate if you have a Pisces sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other strong Pisces placements. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. These messages may not resonate with every Pisces out there, and that is totally okay. If you're looking for any additional guidance or predictions related to this reading, you know, if it happens to really resonate with you, you can find a link to the extended reading in the description box below. Stick around at the end of this video to see a preview of it. And lastly, if this reading resonates, please let me know below and give this video a thumbs up. I do read all of my comments and would love to hear from you and how these energies are manifesting in your life. Enough of me talking though, Pisces. Let's get into this. So we have the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hanged Man in the reverse, and the Three of Swords in the reverse. So, so far, the only major arcana that we have on the table is Pisces. However, we do have fire energy, air energy, earth energy. We really have all of... Um, the suits out on the table so you could really be dealing with anyone but as we pull more cards i will call out those signs as well the overall energy that we have is the three of pentacles let's talk about these oracle cards for the overall theme and energy we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so with full moon eclipse there's a major turning point here. This is a major transition of some sort, something closing out, and we have watching and waiting. So you may have been waiting for something here, some sort of conclusion, some sort of chapter to close out, some sort of answer. Because with conclusions are within reach and watching and waiting, I'm just sensing that there's something here you have been waiting on, Pisces. Okay, waiting to see how something will go, how something will turn out, some sort of answer. The Three of Pentacles here for the overall energy tells me that there is an emphasis on working together this month and figuring something out or completing something. Okay, important conversations and interactions especially will be on the table with this energy. And this could involve the energy of some sort of project, or maybe you know this person from school, from work, or uh, just even a friend, okay? This could be someone that you have a lot in common with. Or this could even have to do with some sort of third-party situation, but I don't see enough in the cards that we've drawn yet to confirm that, but this is a general reading, so I'm just throwing that out there. But whatever this is, the answers that you need, Pisces, are headed your, your way. And this is a big turning point because with eclipse energy, this is not just any old full moon. Full moon eclipse, like this is a turning point because eclipse energies can last for even up to six months at times. So this is just that um, that indicator that there's something big coming here. <laughs> so let's get into this, Pisces. Let's see what I'm seeing so far. So for the past or the recent past, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or someone who has fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, maybe you do, but that is not necessary. Now, the King of Wands, sorry, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands, in the reverse in the past suggests that there may have been a period of confusion or uncertainty in a situation. There may have been some feelings of being pulled in different directions. There could have been some impulsive, hasty, or unexpected actions or even inactions. For some of you, either someone made some sort of hasty action or decision or like the brakes were pulled on something. But I feel, you know, with the, the Knight of Wands and the reverse energy, it's just like, whoa, you know, it's, it, it can be a bit of a shock. And it can also be like hot and cold behavior at times. 
Because when this knight is upright, he's going to bring in adventure. He's going to bring in passion. And male or female, I'm just reading the energies. But when it's in the reverse, this is a bit like more cutthroat where that passion and adventure can kind of take a turn for the worse where it's this, it, it's like an unexpected, not so great surprise or it's hitting you out of left field and you don't see it coming. That, that type of energy can definitely be associated with the King of Wands in reverse, even if this is someone who kind of pulled the brakes on something or did something impulsive. Okay. And you know what? We're going to put this at the bottom of the deck and we're going to, uh, ask more about this. And we even have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been a sense of loss or feeling left out in the cold. Five of swords in the reverse, definitely sensing that there was some mental conflict here with whatever happened. And it may have felt like you two were at odds. Okay. Like whatever happened here, that someone had the upper hand. Tell me more about this. Eight of Wands. So this may have happened quickly. This may have happened quickly. Out of nowhere. The Ten of Swords in the reverse, though, it does indicate to me that it just, you know, it wasn't a complete ending here, but things really felt as though they were hanging by a thread. But at the same time, this can indicate that, yes, there, there's... There was still that opportunity to heal something here, but it did bring in a lot of mental conflict, okay? I don't feel like this person, I'm just getting this the energy that the person that you may have been dealing with was, deal, was acting a bit hasty, even selfish, just kind of acting what was in alignment for them, what they wanted to do, possibly not considering your feelings, what you thought about something here. And that may have been painful. And this person, just for some of you, it's very much this energy of this person either trying to like continue on, thinking like everything's okay. That's just for some of you. That's just for some of you. But I want to get into the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Swords in the reverse here because... This is, this is a lot of energy. This is a lot of energy. The Ace of uh, Swords upright with the King of Swords in the reverse as the block. Because the Ace of Swords is associated with the elements of air, of course. And it, re it represents, cannot talk to you guys, clarity, decisiveness, and even honesty. You know, mental breakthroughs, opportunities for communication regarding truth. And it, it suggests that there is an ability to really cut through any sort of confusion and see things clearly. You know, that, that opportunity is there. But with the Ace of Swords as this current situation, current energy, with the King of Swords in the reverse as, you know, the challenge or block, I'm really sensing that there is a sense of facing like a difficult decision or challenge but whatever this is it there's something here that requires clear and logical thinking and the the king of swords in the reverse showing up here it's telling me that this communication or opportunity to communicate and bring in clarity was thrown off in some way or the way that it was brought in may have been a bit harsh, okay? Now, with the King of Swords in the reverse, it can also indicate a lack of clarity or failure to reason and bring in logic effectively to clearly communicate when there was an opportunity to do so. It just, it really feels like ineffective communication or with whatever was being said, it was said harshly. Or there may have been some clarity related to someone even going a bit cold, cutting someone out here. But there's really a breakdown in communication and a lack of clarity lack of direction even with communication and someone could really be feeling misunderstood or like they're not being heard and it could lead to 
confusion in a sense. Now, at the same time, what I'm really sensing is if there's someone coming in here that thought, you know, everything was okay, and now there's communication and clarity and something that's being said, and your person, it looks like your person may want to come in and like nurture this and, and, and so forth. But because of what happened in the past with this King of Swords and the reverse energy, it may bring in that confusion. It may create this, well, you're, what you did in the past was a bit harsh. You know, that's the energy I'm getting. Someone could be thinking that. Because I, I do feel like there's this clarity coming in and someone who wants to nurture something. But, but I feel like this, this King of Swords in the reverse energy is past energy. Let's find out more about the Ace of Swords. Two of Wands. The Moon. Tell me more about this Moon. Death. Tell me more about the King of of swords in the reverse okay Maybe one more here knight of swords in the reverse we do have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck so someone could be a water sign here but not necessary but kind of bringing in this this attempt at some sort of stable energy but i i feel like someone was harsh in the past and you know, I, I feel like it really allowed you to see someone's character here. I feel that someone's harsh actions or the way that they went about something may have really taken the veil down, dropped the veil. And it allowed someone to see a bit more clarity about the fact that someone made a bad decision or they were unable to make a particular decision. And I also feel like there may have been someone here who really didn't know how to handle the situation. So when this person comes in, because I feel like this person, they may be coming in with some sort of message. And with the two of wands, this is about planning. This is, you know, the first steps, deciding, figuring something out. Someone maybe coming in here and trying to plan something, trying to take action, or someone is finding clarity and taking action towards something. At the same time, with the moon and death, it's almost the sense of, I'm trying to make a decision and I'm, I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to move forward regarding a situation that there's, there's still uncertainty. There's still this confusion because this person's actions may have helped you see a bit more of their character, but it doesn't mean that you fully understand their intentions or, you know, what it is that they're coming in with. There may be this lack of understanding if this connection is really over for you. I feel like you may be feeling like this person is trying to look past or get away from the consequences of their own action. But I do feel that with the moon and, and death, there is some sort of change or transformation in the air that is not quite clear yet. Someone in the past here, they could have made some sort of decision without letting you know there could have been some sort of deception around that as well. And now it's kind of going back towards that territory. The cards that I'm seeing, I mean, this woman, I'm just reading energies. She's looking at the past here. So I feel like the energies from the past are, you know, this is... This is what someone wants information about. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups, okay. Five of Cups in the reverse. 
Ace of Cups. Let's check out you with the Hangman in the reverse. I feel like there's some sort of enlight. Okay. Because the Three of Swords in the reverse here for the outcome, there is there's healing, reconciliation, communication that is coming in after a period of watching and waiting. However, I feel like your person here, they are wanting, I feel like this person misses you. This could be an earth sign, but that is not necessary. There could have been a situation here from the past where, and this is just for some of you because I'm picking up two different storylines to so let me know which one resonates, but there could have been a situation here where someone had kind of backtracked uh, to some sort of past energy. Someone may have been trying to move on from a past situation. There may have been a third party energy that hindered the connection between you and this person and I feel like this person could be moving on from that energy and it could be romantic it could be person place thing concept idea it could be anything but it's almost like this person was looking at the past for a minute related to some sort of third party energy but I feel like they're more so getting over this and they're coming in with some sort of con uh, communication they're making a decision because now this person is wanting to come back in here. I do feel like this is someone that, you know, you have some sort of history with. And it doesn't often matter the, the, how long it's been, but more so the quality. There's, there's, this is not some sort of new situation, but I feel like there's someone here. And if they had tried to go back towards something from the past that did not work out and i don't feel like this person had necessarily any romantic feelings for this person in the past it was just the sense of almost like this this unfinished business and this need for this person to possibly even get closure or something here uh to, to kind of move on five of cups to move on from the past for this new beginning Like this person needed to fully bury something here. And now I feel like, I feel like this person, they're coming in with some sort of clarity. But I do feel like, you know, it may be difficult to trust this person now because there could have been some harsh words, some harsh actions that were taken you know, how this person treated you. But now they're wanting to come in here and nurture something. I feel like this person misses you and they're wanting this new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. They're moving on from a situation from their past. Now this can manifest in so many different ways and I just want to give you that clarity. I'm going to give you two different, three different examples here because you could all be on different timelines and this could be for the long term where for example there was a person that you were seeing and they made this impulsive decision because a lot came up for them like emotionally and they kind of like turned back towards an ex- partner or something like that because they felt like they really needed to put something to rest or to make sure it wouldn't work out or some, something like that. Now, for others of you, this could simply be a situation where, you know, this person kind of blew you off uh, one day for plans and, you know, on a smaller scale um, instead of what I had just said about the whole turning back towards an ex, this person could have just blown you off one day and to, to go towards different plans and now you know instead of going forward with those plans they're coming back towards you so it, it you know the way that time works and the way that our energies work this could be something that happened for the long term or this could be like a small incident that happened for some of you but what i'm basically saying here is that this person they turned back towards something and then it's like a double take type thing like but now they're they're coming back in towards you 
again. And I feel like there's a lot of enlightenment coming in for you. I do feel like there is wish fulfillment and you're happy with the outcome of seeing this person come back in. But with the magician in the reverse and the three of wands in the reverse, I do feel like you are being exceptionally careful with how you place your energy and where you place it. And with the three of wands in the reverse, you may not necessarily be jumping in on, you know, the wagon right away. I do feel like there are some delays on your end. And I do feel like there's a lot of clarity coming in in for you so that you are able to release yourself from wondering about this moon like what's going to happen here what's going to happen here because there may have been questions about you know is this really over like what really happened here and for some of you you may not have necessarily you may not have necessarily known that this person went back towards past energies in their life to 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 deal with something here and you may not know at this time that it did not work out this person may have thought also that going back towards something that it would play out whether it was another person or plans or whatever it was but what you don't know here what this person did not know is that this this was not going to work out and because of that it's bringing in this transformation behind this veil behind this curtain that is possible here between you two, you just don't see it quite yet because of this moon card. Because whenever I see the moon, it's like this, there's this energy of uncertainty and it's, it's like fog. So with the hanged man, I do feel that there's enlightenment coming in, this clarity. And you may be letting go of the past here, but I do feel like you're contemplating, but it, it's it's been a while. You may have been waiting for this person, watching and waiting. I feel like you are the one who was waiting and now you are finally getting up out of that energy because the hanged man is finally in the reverse and this is getting out of that energy. And at the same time, you may feel like you are at a bit of a crossroads here trying to figure out you know, which way to turn and what to do, especially with some sort of news or, or decision that's on the table. And you may not necessarily know how to express yourself here as well, you know, and, and that that's okay. I feel like you're playing it safe here. I want to know specifically more about the moon and, and death, though. This is what I am very curious about. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hermit in the reverse. Okay, so someone was really, really reflect. Yes, someone. It may have really felt like things fell apart here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something, as I said, did not work out. It didn't work out for you and this person, and it didn't turn out for this person if they turned back towards some sort of energy or they tried to go towards some sort of new energy. And I feel like this person very much started to analyze it very, very deeply and think about this situation. There could be someone with water in their chart. We have a lot of this person down here really wanting to nurture and bring in security towards um, emotional aspects. There's a lot of cups down here. And we also have Virgo, Gemini energy with the magician in the reverse, Pisces energy, as I said, with the hanged man. Uh, but I feel like uh, this person, you know, there was something that kind of fell down here in the 3D. And it really pushed this person into thinking a lot, going inward, possibly even overanalyzing a lot here. A lot of evaluation. Okay, and this could be about you. I mean cups you know pisces energy but i do feel like this person may have really really been thinking about you evaluating the situation looking at the situation and also using their intuition and really connecting with themselves on an emotional level and i do feel like this is your person because of this cups energy down here that they're showing up as so especially with judgment in the reverse i feel like this person 
they they know they made a bad decision they made some sort of decision here it may have been reckless it may have been hasty and they know that they went the wrong way you know this person went the wrong way okay Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So let's take a look at the outcome, but I feel like there's going to be healing and communication coming in here. Now with the Page of Swords in the reverse, I will warn that there could be some issues with communication here. And I just, I feel like this person, they may not be the best communicators, or at least when it comes to expressing themselves. With the Page of Swords in Reverse, you could also be dealing with someone who has been defensive or argumentative in the past, but overall, what I'm really sensing here is that this person, or there could be a situation here in general, or this could be you, I don't know, you know, take what resonates, but I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication, healing, reconciliation, but with the Page of Swords in Reverse, this is warning that, hey, is someone fully speaking their truth? There's still an opportunity here, but it's almost the sense of, is something still bothering someone here that needs to be talked about? Because whatever comes in is like, oh, there's this opportunity, but there's something here that still feels heavy. And the two of swords in the reverse and the five of wands, it does indicate to me that there's a sense of the stalemate energy in some way, shape, or form where there's a difficult decision that will be made, but it still feels difficult to make. But additional perspectives are being seen because finally, this blindfold is coming off. And it may have to do uh, with other people. There could have been someone here who was trying to fight the battles of others or maybe even get themselves too involved with the drama of others. Um, or even someone here where it's just like the truth is being revealed about the conflict that occurred between you two. And for some reason, I I'm just sensing that this may be like, oh, you know, like, I feel like you just have an issue with how someone handled a previous situation. But there's healing that's coming in towards this and around this. So regardless, the answers you need and the clarity is coming in for you. How you move forward will be up to you. I do feel like there will be some important interactions and that are happening this month. And with the Three of Pentacles, this, this could very much have to do with, you know, working through it and the interactions of you two coming together and even talking about it. But I do feel like a lot of clarity is going to be shed here. Let's pull some advice. Advice for Pisces. Some just quick advice. Well, in the extended, if you're interested, let me know um, if this resonated, of course. But the link for the extended will be in the description. Spontaneous. So, I feel like this... Um, this may happen out of nowhere, and with the advice being spontaneous, it might just be about going with how you feel in that moment, but connecting to yourself intuitively and, and how you really feel, and just going with it, allowing it to happen, being open to the unexpected, being open to surprises, because this may surprise you, right? So it's just about seeing how things play out and just going with it. And with this card, it's not about having too many expectations. It's just seeing what shows up on your step, you know, at your doorstep and, and, and going with it. And it may be very much out of nowhere, which can definitely happen with the Page of Swords in the reverse. Out of nowhere, hey. And it may be even the timing that feels a bit burdensome here. Pisces, if this resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know below in the comments. I do read all of them and I would really love to know how this is playing out in your life. Uh, please let me know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other strong Pisces placements that you or your person may have. 
or even just the signs of the person that you are dealing with. I would love to know, you know, which part of the Pisces Collective I am really connecting with. If you would like to join me over at the Extended uh, for some additional insight, a brand new spread, as well as some more guidance and predictions, uh, feel free to join me over there. The link for that is in the description box below. And because it's all customized, I will actually leave you all some details below next to that link around what will be explored. But some things we usually explore off the bat are, you know, feelings, intentions, what you may not know. We'll pull timing cards for uh, particular dates when things may manifest, all sorts of things, you know, actions, the long term. And we just really dive deep into what I feel will be the most insightful for you. So again, if you'd like to join me over there, the link is below. Keep watching for a preview of it and check out the description box for more details about that. But that is what I have for you for now. I love you all so much, Pisces. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye. It's almost like the way that you lead here may be inspiring them to look at their own way of doing things. Realizing that they have been kind of blocking their heart off, that they have like this person feels like they really either messed up here or there was some sort of missed opportunity. You know, this person may have been taking on the battles of others. You know, this person could have been a people pleaser, really.